Hello friends, I'm Doreen DeSevis from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and welcome to the third night of the 12 Days of Halloween. So, we weren't able to see the eclipse today. I don't know if you were able to see it, but um didn't matter even with the proper glasses. We were only going to see a partial one in southwestern New Hampshire, but it was cloudy and overcast. The sun was peeking through a little bit this morning, but we weren't able to see it. So that was a little bit sad for me, but um, otherwise it was a great day. I hope you had a great day too. So tonight we're going to use Bag of Bones again, um, and we are going to be making this adorable little treat holder. It's a matchbox treat holder. And inside, you can see there's going to be a little treat, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm using Them Bones Designer Series paper. I use the Designer Series paper to um, cut the cat and the skeleton out of and the background designer series paper. So let me just set that aside and we'll get started. The only stamping we're going to do tonight is the boo for you on the label. So let me just, I've got my little sheet sheet here with all the measurements. So let me get out everything that we're going to need and we'll get started. This is a really quick and easy project tonight. Um, it's the kind of project I love because I can make a lot of them pretty quickly. So that is why I love it so much. Um, at this time of the year, I need my projects to be quick and easy because I am usually making a lot of them. So I need those to be um, quick and easy. So I'm using a, p a package of Reese's Pieces for my treat inside my package. And this um, treat holder would hold the fun size of so M&Ms, Skittles, anything that's this um, size of a treat package. So um, you will need a piece of, and again, you don't need to try to write these down quickly. I will post them in the comments right after the um, video um, has finished and it's aired the replay has aired on my channel. Um, make sure if you're watching tonight, and I see some of you are joining me right now, uh, please say hello in the chat, in the comments. Um, if you're watching the replay, still say hello. And if you're watching the replay on YouTube, please say hello and tell me where you're watching from. Um, so for tonight's project, you're gonna need a piece of basic black cardstock and a half. So out of one piece of cardstock, you can get four treat holders um, cut to be made. So it's an economical um, project as well. Then you're gonna need some designer series paper. They're all a different size, but I'm using all the same color. The biggest piece that you're gonna need is two and a half by three and a half. Then you need another piece that's two and a half, but this one's by three and a quarter. And then you're gonna need a piece that's a half inch by two and a half. And then the final piece needs to be three eighths of an inch by two and a half. So you don't need a lot of supplies. And then I used our um, deckled circle dies. You've been seeing me use these a lot. And I used the tiniest of tiny, the tiniest um, circle die in there to make um, this project. So I'm gonna start with the stamping. I'm gonna use um, the stamp that says Boo to You. And I'm using Memento Black ink. And all I'm gonna do is ink up this stamp and stamp that right in the circle. So there we go. Quick and easy. Now, if I was gonna be making a whole bunch of these, um, I probably would be punching instead of die cutting my circle. Just, I, I love this circle the best, but if I was making 24 or 36 of these, instead of die cutting them, I would use a punch and um, punch out just a plain circle. Okay, so now we have to do some scoring on this piece. So let me get out my scoring board. So that you can see this make sure. So I'm going to put this right up here. I'm going to grab my tool and we are going to be scoring at three quarters of an inch. So right here. So three quarters of an inch 
we're going to be scoring at four and a half inches and we're going to be scoring at five inches. There we go. That's all the scoring that we need to do. Put that away. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my bone folder and I'm going to be folding on these score lines. I want to give it a nice burnish. Um, anytime you're doing something with a fold, whether it's just the fold for the card or in this case a treat, you really want to make sure your fold really does make a difference. Okay, so this is a matchbox um, treat holder. So this is what it's going to look like um, when it's folded. So I'm going to start by putting my paper on. So the longest piece is going to go right here on the back. The shorter piece is going to go here on the front. So let's start with just putting those pieces down. And I'm just going to use my um, stamp, stamp and seal. Um, it is going to hold the paper on here nicely. So there's my first piece. I showed my first project the other day to my advisory. I teach middle school science, as some of you know. And this is actually my 38th year, so after this year, I only have two more years before I retire. And that's a very exciting for me. But anyway, I showed my first project, and the first thing they asked was, well, can we make it? And that one was a little bit more complicated than I really wanted to do with them. So I told them that tonight's project um, I would bring in for us to make. We on, our, on Mondays, we have something called Make It Monday. And so um, we're going to do this project on Monday. So they're pretty excited about that. Now, um, what I'm going to do, and actually I meant to do this before I put this down. I'm just going to pick up this bottom piece because I actually am going to staple the package of the treat package into this. So I'm going to put this down where it has the longer piece of the label and I'm going to put that right in there. Again, I just folded this back down and I'm going to take my staple and I don't want to staple this way towards the top. I want to staple it more towards the bottom. And I'm going to staple it so the back has um, the back has the smooth end, and this has the rougher end. So I can put this down over the staple. Plenty of places to tuck in my design. And now I'm going to take this piece of designer series paper. And I'm going to add it right over this piece. See if I can get those lines to line up. Um, nope, and that's okay. I'm just going to put that right over the front of it. And that way the staple, if you're going to give this, it, it doesn't matter if you're giving it to a child or adult, but then the staple isn't um, showing and it won't um, hurt anyone. And so then what I can do is just tuck in my matchbook cover and then it will open for the treat. So as you can see, this is a quick and easy way to, um, quick and easy way to um, put this together. And it looks like I might be having some internet issues. I sure um, hope not, but um, I'm going to just refresh my page and see if that helps. I think it did. Okay. So now I'm set to start decorating um, my piece. So I actually took um, probably more than one page. And earlier today, because I know I'm making these with my students, I took, I think, two papers out of my um, Them Bones um package of paper and I cut out um I did cut out all the skeletons all the cats and all the dogs um to use with my students so I chose to use just the designer series paper because I was thinking that for the most part um these treat boxes aren't going to be kept um they're probably going to get rid of them once they eat the treats so um I'm going to be putting on using dimensionals 
um, I'm using the cat and I'm using the skeleton. So I'm going to just take my tiny, um, the smallest of our dimensions, dimensionals, and I'm going to just put them in some different places on the skeleton to hold it in place and prevent it from getting squashed. And then what I'm going to do, because these are not going to fit on the legs, and I am just going to trim um, a little piece of the edge. And then I can take those pieces off. Oops, I didn't trim all the way through. And put them right on the legs. And so the legs will then um, have something holding them up. And I'm also going to put some dimensionals on the cat. There we go. So we're done with our dimensionals. I don't know if I showed you this trick before or not, but you can use your take your pick tool and remove the backings pretty easy. Um, this way you don't get the backings all over the place because I don't know about you, I find dimensional backings everywhere in my house. I don't know how I do that but it happens. But this way they get stuck right on the take your pick tool and then I can just pull them off and put them right in the trash can. And I hope that just helps a little bit with my vacuuming, trying to get them all up. There we go, so those are all off. Now let's finish putting this together. Like I said, it is such a quick and easy project. So I'm going to add my little skeleton right here. He's all dimensionalized, I guess you could say. <laughs> Put my little cat there. And then I'm going to add my boo using just some um, stamp and seal. And I'm going to slip that right under his arm. Okay, now we've got to add some bling. So we have this beautiful... Um, they are called the Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. They're in silver, gold, and black. And so I am going to use those to let me just get this out. I'm going to use these on the project. I'm going to put one on my, and that's the large one. And then I'm going to put some of the small ones on other parts of the front. So right there. So I don't know if you can see that sparkling in the camera. But that is it. And that's all you have to do for this fun treat holder that opens up like a matchbook, shows your treat inside. They are fast and easy to make. And doesn't take long at all. So that's it for tonight's edition of the 12 Days of Halloween. Join me again tomorrow night for Simply Stamping Sunday at 7, and then I'll be coming right back on at 8 to share with you another Halloween project. I hope you have the rest of your evening is great, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.